morning, good morning. How are you this morning? Good morning, good morning to you. Today is Thursday, May 14th. Okay, I hope you guys are doing good. Today we're supposed to play in the water and it's like a rainy day out, right? So maybe for the letter W, you could just get like a big tub. Where's my big tub at? Um, or like a big bowl. I have like a big tub like this that you could fill with water and get like measuring cups out and just have fun playing in the water, okay? Or maybe you could take a bath and play in the water. So our sentence today is gonna say, I like to play in the water, okay? Or you can make your own sentence about water, something with W. Okay, your activity today is sight word rocks. So this was kind of fun. We haven't done this one yet, but um, I want you to collect 26 rocks. Okay, outside in your driveway. Maybe they have to be kind of big enough for you to write a letter on and write all the letters of the alphabet with a permanent marker. Maybe mom, dad will let you use a permanent marker. Maybe mom, dad can do it. And then you can rearrange those rocks and make words. You could do sight words. You could also do words that you can sound out. You can make your name. You can make your um, brother and sister's names. Okay, so just something fun to do to practice your letters and sounds and sounding out your words. Okay. Um, what else was today? I think that was it. We're going to get right to it. We're going to start with our Can You Guess My Letter song. Are you ready? Can you guess my letters, my letters, my letters? Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. Ing and ing, ing and ing. Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. It is... Ing, I-N-G. I can't remember if we've done that one or not, but we did it again. Can you guess my letters, my letters, my letters? Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. Ooh and ooh, ooh and ooh. Can you guess my letters? Just listen for the sound. Oh, oh, right? Good job. And we did all of our two-letter and three-letter sounds, so we're done with that song. Those were my last two to finish. Okay. We're going to hide Mr. Hart. He made his appearance yesterday. Mr. Hart is our first grade teacher. And let's see, where should I put him? All right, got it. So before we try to find Mr. Hart, we're going to read our words. I don't know why I can't get this like the right way. There we go. So up here we have the word first, there, into, next, here, up here we have went, saw, were, love, and they. Over here, sorry. So what is our guess? Where is Mr. Hart? Oh, we gotta say our poem. Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, how do you do? Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, where are you? So let's see, what's our guess? Let's go for they down here. It starts with T-H. They, is he behind they? No Mr. Hart there. How about saw, saw. This is like saw with your eyes or a saw like a tool, right? No Mr. Hart there. This is kind of like a two part word, in, to, right? We have a sight word to, we have the word in. Into, is he behind into? No. There, another TH word. Th there. Is he behind there? Oh man, he is hiding good today. Um, were. W -w -w were. No. How about another W word? W -e -n -t. Wet. That is one we can sound out every single sound. Nope. How about down here? <gasps> here. Here. Is Mr. Hart here? Nope. Let's go up here to first, for first grade. Oh, there he is, of course, hiding behind first, right? For first grade, we found him. Hello, Mr. Hart. All right, we're gonna move on to our number of the day. And last time we did this, it was the number six. Today, I chose the number 10, right? 10 is another word that we can sound out very easily. So chin tap with me, ready? T, 
E, N, ten. So we hear T, we hear E, and we hear N. Three sounds for three letters. T, N, ten. Just like six. Six, six. All right. So if I'm showing ten on my ten frames, it's going to be a full ten frame. So there are many ways to make 10. Okay, we have five and five. We have one and nine. We have two and eight. We have three and seven. Six and four, five and five, right? All these ways to make 10. So here's a 10 frame. If it's completely full, we know it's 10. Do I have to count each individual dot? No, you can if you need to. But if it's full, we know it's 10. All right, we're going to compare numbers. I'm going to write the number 10, I'm going to write the number 11, and I'm going to write the number 9. Which number out of these three is the most or the biggest? It's kind of tricky because they're all pretty close. 11 is the greatest or the biggest. Which number is the least, smallest? 9. Right. All right, adding and subtracting. I kind of went over all the ways to make 10. What could be an addition problem that we could do? Let's think in our head. Friends of 10, what could we do? Let's do five plus five, right? Just like our fingers, five and five. Let's do six plus four. And what other one should we do? How about eight and two? Eight plus two. Here we go. So we did five plus five, six plus four, eight plus two. Now we're going to subtract. That means we have to, our first number has to start bigger than ten. So we could do fifteen minus five. Because if you have fifteen and you take five away, it's going to be ten, right? Um, we could do twenty minus 10, okay, is 10. We could just do a simple one like 11 minus 1 equals 10, okay? Look at all these problems. We have 3 addition over here, and we have 3 subtraction right there. See if you can make up your own, okay, to equal 10. All right, number order. If we have 10 in the middle, we have a number in front, we have a number behind. So the number in front of 10 is 9, and the number after 10 is 11. So 9, 10, 11. Good job, there's our number order. All right, we're gonna make a pattern this morning with our May shapes. Yesterday we used flowers and boats. Let's do our boys and our girls. Let's do girl, boy, boy. Girl, boy, boy. And I found my pointer from yesterday. Remember I lost it? It was my snake. Here's my little snake, okay? So let's point and read with me. Are you ready? Girl, boy, boy. Girl, boy, boy. And if I put a letter pattern to this, it would say A, B, B. A, B, B. Good job. All right. Today we are doing flip-flop words. And I have these really cool words. If we were at school, we would do it like a write the room activity where I tape them up around the room and then you have to find them and write them, okay? But since we're not in our room, we have to do it at home. So look at these cute little flip-flops, okay? So each flip-flop, one flip-flop has a picture and then the other one has a word. So the word matches the picture, like your flip-flops. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to write what word it is. And there are actually some numbers on them because these are, if you had a recording sheet, you would find number 10, write the word next to it, okay? So you can still write the number if you want, but we're gonna do four words today and then we'll do, we'll sound out the rest tomorrow, okay? So our first one, this one's kind of hard to see. I'll kind of zoom in. This is the picture right here. It's a house, but in front of the house, there's a ramp going up to the door. Can you kind of see that, okay? So the word is ramp. So let's sound out ramp. What do we hear? It kind of gives us here, but we can still sound it out. What do we hear? 
er, a, m, and p, p. So er, am, p, ram. Okay. Next one. We see a little girl. She's got all these dots on her face. Can you see that? What do you think that word is? It starts with an R. R ash. Rash. She has a rash on her face. So we're gonna sound out rash. Here we go. R A. And then it has one of our two letter sounds. Sh SH. So make sure you're writing your words with me. We have ramp. We have rash. Okay, so er, ash. Good. Next one. We have a picture of a lamp, right? Oh, let's sound out lamp. O, a, m, mm, and then p, p. Lamp. Good. We hear every sound. And our last one, let's zoom in here. What do we think this is? Starts with an N. N nest, good, nest, here we go. We hear N, right, over your nose, N. We hear E, E, short E. We hear S, and we hear T, T. So N, E, S. Good, so four words, each word has four letters, okay? And we hear all of the sounds. So we have ramp, rash, lamp, nest, okay? So these are the words I wanna see. Have mom and dad take a picture, put them on our Facebook page under our video, okay? Practice sounding out those words. Good job, pat yourself on the back. Pat yourself on the other side. Kiss your brain. Oh, you're so smart, good job. All right, let me check my list, make sure I'm getting all my stuff that I wrote down. Um, ooh, let's go over our punctuation. We haven't done this for a while. Um, we have three types of punctuation that we talk about. And I have my poster, I moved it. It's up here. There we go. All right, where's my snake? So we have what's called a period. If you're telling us something, you use a period, okay? And up here, the pencil is saying, I can write. He's telling us that, so he uses a period. My one in the middle is a question mark. You use a question mark when you ask a question. So he says, can you write? Ooh, he's asking us a question, so he uses a question mark. And then this is called an exclamation mark. Can you guys say that? Exclamation mark. And we use this when we say something we're so, so excited about. So he's saying, Wow, I love to write. He is excited. So he uses exclamation mark. Okay, so same with me. We have period, question mark, exclamation mark. I'm going to mix them up. Are you ready? Question mark, exclamation mark, period. Exclamation mark, period, question mark. Question mark, exclamation mark, period, period, question mark, exclamation mark. Keep going really fast. Good job. All right. What we're gonna do now is, there was just something I thought of. Oh, we're gonna write our sentence and then we're gonna do our writing song that we haven't done for a while where you have to repeat after me, okay? I don't have my helpers with me today. So I need you guys to help me sing my song, all right? I'm gonna flip my board over. I'm gonna write our sentence. I told you our sentence at the beginning of the video. Does anybody remember what we're gonna write? I like to play in the water. Listen to all those sight words, holy cow. So we're gonna start with I. So we always start our sentence with a capital letter, right? I like, so finger space, O, I, K. Okay, bossy at the end makes I say its name. I like to, remember, always use your finger space, I like to. So far, all of my letters are lowercase except for my I. Okay, sorry, I got a glare. There we go. I like to play, another sight word. P -O -A, A and Y work together to make the long A. I like to play in, another sight word. No, is that a sight word? I don't know, it's one we can sound out. Another finger space, 
another sight word, the. And then we have water. We can sound out water. Wah, wah. Ah, sounds like a U, but it's an A. T. And then er, E-R, like Tucker. And then we put a period. Okay, so this is your whole sentence. You're just copying what I have. Unless you want to make your own sentence about water, you can. Okay, so let's use our pointer and let's read our sentence. Are we ready? I like to play in the water. Now, if your sentence says this, what do you think your picture is going to be? Something playing in the water, right? Remember we talked about you could pretend like it's really, really hot out and you go outside and play in the sprinkler or the pool, okay? Or you could just draw a picture of you in the bathtub or draw a picture of you like I talked about doing a tub with water, okay? So something with water. Now we're gonna sing our song. Let's see if I can remember it. Are you ready? You guys gotta repeat after me. You gotta help me out. I'm gonna write a story. I can't wait to read it to you. I'm going to use my sentences. Here are the things I'm going to use. Capitals. Spaces. Punctuation. Makes sense. I'm going to write a story. I can't wait to read it to you. All right, so your story today is gonna to be about water, right? All right, good job, guys, I'm so proud of you. All right, we're gonna do a couple cheers to end our session today. I'm not gonna do firecracker because my kiddos aren't down here with me. Let's do roller coaster, ready? Ooh, that's a fun one. Oreo cookie, ready? Good job. How about find some ones we haven't done here for a while? Ooh, snap, crackle, pop. Ready? Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Um, the cheese grater. Get your chunk of cheese, get your grater, and go. You're great, great, great. Um, do some of my favorite ones. Ooh, how about wow? Ready? Here's your W's. Your mouth is going to be your O. Ready? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Pencil sharpener. Shh. Keep going really fast. Shh. You're sharp. All right. Last one. What's it going to be? Oh, the truck driver. Let me put my cards away here. Here we go. Truck driver. Honk, honk. Good job, good buddy. One more time, ready? Driving your big rig. Honk, honk. Good job, good buddy. All right, kiddos. Good job today. I missed you guys so much. Tomorrow is our last day. And we get to enjoy our summer, right? But I missed you guys so much. Um, on a Saturday, parents, they are doing a pickup of supplies at the school. From 9 to 12, you'll just pull right in like you're dropping off your kid at the, in the morning. Hopefully, there'll be like a line of cars. Um, there'll be people, just stay in your car. There'll be people, teachers that will come out, um, ask you what grade your child is in. And then they'll have runners that'll go back to the rooms, get their stuff, and bring it out. You will have a bag of all your art supply stuff, your journals, um, all your extra like pencils, erasers, glue sticks, all that. Um, you'll have a bag of extra clothes that we had in the classroom. And then you're going to have a special gift from Miss Richmond and I. So make sure you make arrangements um, to get there Saturday. If you can't get there for, on Saturday for some reason, email me um, and we can try to set something up. Okay? But I will have something special for you. A little end of the year summer gift. So make sure that you um, are able to be there on Saturday. All right, kiddos. Have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.